drones and cyber warfare these will be the deciding factors in all future wars and india needs to prepare itself india needs to do more hi and welcome to tfi english the national social political analysis arm of the tfi media group i'm your host piyush and in this video i will tell you what modern warfare will look like in the near future notice the steep hike in petrol and diesel prices that's a direct consequence of the war between russia and ukraine but that's not what we'll be talking about today in fact the discussion will revolve around the future of warfare traditionally wars have been fought using brute force the war in ukraine is being fought in a similar manner as well however warfare is evolving and the same is visible in the ongoing war itself what we are seeing right now are the precursors to how wars will look like in the future ramming each other's military is an expensive and completely avoidable way of fighting a war why waste human life and military infrastructure when you can win a conflict without losing any human resources for example unmanned aerial vehicles or uavs or armed drones require no human to be controlling them physically instead these drones can obliterate the enemy's resources troops and infrastructure all on their own Russia's war was supposed to be a swift one. Russia's primary objective was to topple Kiev and effectuate a regime change in Ukraine. It has not been able to do so until now. Why you might ask? You see, Ukraine in its inventory has the lethal Bayraktar TB2 armed drones manufactured by Turkey, and these have been instrumental in ambushing and attacking Russia's advanced convoys. They have slowed the Russians down and forced the Kremlin to rethink its strategy in Ukraine. Initially, Russia did not employ its own armed drones in the war. However, as days passed, it changed that strategy and pushed its own drones into the Ukrainian skies. Armed drones are comparatively small, are highly maneuverable, and can not be detected easily. Their heat signature is really low when compared to a fighter aircraft, and if they are downed, they do not cost a soldier his life. So, more and more countries are embracing UAV technology. The most obvious question to us now would be this what is india doing about uav technology and what lessons it is learning from the conflicts around the world mind you ukraine is not the only region where armed drones have proven their mettle in syria and the nagorno karabakh region these armed drones have tilted the scales rather decisively in the favor of the side that operates them so for a country like india which faces enemy nations in its north and west it makes complete sense to draw any lesson and imbibe uav technology on an immediate basis india has banned the import of foreign made drones Of course that in no way means India will not be importing armed drones of the highest quality from around the world. The import ban largely pertains to non-combatant drones. When it comes to unarmed aerial vehicles, India is looking to import the same from the United States of America and Israel. India currently has Israeli drones in its armory. However, the real shot in the arm is on the horizon as New Delhi and Washington look to finalize a big predator drone deal in the near future predator drones are the most superior uavs around the world and india plans to give its army navy and air force close to 30 of them each separately india and the us are also working together to develop uavs that can be launched from aircraft what makes more sense fighting a long bloody and high cost war against an enemy nation to achieve certain objectives or to simply cripple the foe to submission the latter mind you will be a non violent way of achieving your objectives that is what cyber warfare promises instead of destroying a country militarily future wars will be fought on the basis of how that country's institutions power grids and internet can be shut down our satellite services catering to that country can be blown off and how its economy can be run into the ground India is laying great importance on the potential of cyber warfare. Separately, the Ministry of Defence and Industry partner Bharat Electronics Limited recently signed an agreement to support the Indian Air Force with advanced electronic warfare suit for its fighter aircraft. The system will cripple the ability of enemy militaries to access much needed information for operations against India. India is among an elite league of nations that possess anti-satellite capabilities. India also has developed delicate cyber warfare units from within its military arms. That being said, there is a long way for india to go still this is no time to rejoice india needs to significantly up its game in cyber warfare as well as 
in the UAV space. Without it, India will stand at a disadvantage to fight future conflicts in a spirited manner. Tanks should not be India's focus any longer. Entire columns of combat vehicles and tanks can be easily taken out by drones. They are much more expensive than drones and also result in the loss of human resources. India must prepare for the future and look to fill its armory with cutting-edge drone and suburb warfare technologies.